Hey guys, welcome back to the Gears and Tool channel. Today we are taking a look at the multi-tool made by Gerber, the Gerber Center Drive. And uh, this is a slick little multi-tool. Um, I really like the stainless steel with the uh, kind of black oxide look. And the uh, one-handed deployable pliers are kind of uh, a neat trick. So let's dive right in and get the full review done. So let's first talk about what comes in the box. Uh, first you get the Gerber multi-tool itself, of course. And then we have the 12-piece bit kit which has an assortment of kind of Phillips, hex, uh, square drive, and a few torques. And what's cool about these bits is they're the quarter inch drive variant. So if you uh, have a very specific bit that you need or um, just lose a couple, you can just grab some right out of your toolbox. And then finally, we have the sheath that comes with this. And it's a pretty nice sheath. It has the kind of snap button for the um, belt loop, which can be a good thing. You know, don't have to take your belt off. And then it has the, um, Kind of loops here that are compatible with the uh, molly system if that's uh, something that you use in your workplace so good versatile sheath one thing i don't really care for on this sheath is the velcro and if you guys have ever watched any of my reviews i always pick on velcro um, it works just fine it's just a preference of mine i like a snap button style sheath better as far as fitting in um, everything seems to fit in the sheath just fine there's a uh, kind of two pockets in there it's a tool i like to put in tip down and then the bit kit just slips in like that. It is a bit of a bulky package when the sheath is fully loaded, but it does the job. So as you can see, this is a larger multi-tool, definitely part of the heavy duty multi-tool group. Let's go ahead and take a look at the size and weight. It's 4.85 inches long, 0.96 inches thick at the thickest point where the bit driver is. If you look at the just the body itself, it's closer to 0.8 inches thick, but at the thickest point, it's almost an inch thick. 1.76 inches wide, which is pretty thick for a multi-tool. The Gerber Center Drive isn't exactly a light multi-tool either. Coming at 6.55 ounces. And then if we add the bit kit, 11.85 ounces. And if we add the bit kit, you're gonna to need to carry it with the sheath, of course. Coming in a total of 13.2 ounces. So. Um, pretty pretty heavy package overall, but again, part of the heavy duty multi-tool group. Um, just for comparison's sake, the Letterman Surge comes in 11.75 ounces. So it is lighter than the Letterman Surge, at least for the base tool itself. The Gerber Center Drive has two outside accessible tools. The first is a three inch long 420 HC steel blade. Um, the same steel that's used on the Letterman tools. Just for comparison, the Letterman Surge has a 3.1 inch long blade, which is just about the same length as the Gerber Center Drive. So I think Gerber did a really good job on this knife blade. It's a nice shape and a full three inches long, they definitely didn't make any compromises, which is pretty impressive considering that the plier heads retract fully into the tool. So the fact that they're able to find a space for a full three inch long blade is excellent. So good job Gerber, no compromises there. The second tool that's one-handed accessible from the outside is the Center Drive tool itself. And I really like the center drive on this. It, it has a sweeping motion, which puts it in line of the center of the tool handle, hence the name center drive. But the biggest thing I really like about the center drive is that it uses the standard quarter inch bits. So if you need a special bit, you can just use the standard one that you already have in your toolkit. Or if you lose a bit, you can just replace it with one that's handy. So really like that you don't need proprietary um, bits like the Letterman tools do. And I really like that the uh, center drive bit driver is accessible from the outside of the multi-tool. There are no other multi-tools that I'm aware of that have a standard quarter inch driver bit on the outside of the tool. So great job there, Gerber. Um, the implementation on the two outside tools is excellent. Let's take a look at the other major selling point for these pliers, the one-handed deployable flick action deployment. And these pliers, it's, it's not just a sales gimmick. They come out super smooth. You just flick your wrist and they pop right out. And uh, it takes a little bit of a specific motion, but once you get the hang of it, it they work really well. I like that the pliers are spring loaded, making it really easy to use, especially if you have gloves or something like that on. And um, I really like that the pliers lock out. They don't want to slide back in the handle unless you push the lock button on the side here and pull them in yourself. So really kind of a unique deployment method for these pliers, but Gerber did an excellent job in their design and execution. They're just super smooth. Um, they come right out and they're, and they're a very nice set of needle nose pliers here. Another nice feature is these removable wire cutters. You can pull out and rotate a third of a turn to expose fresh cutting surfaces. So Gerber did a great job with these pliers here. Definitely a huge selling point for this multi-tool. So on the inside of the tool, the side that has the knife blade and driver has a hidden driver storage compartment which is great in case you lose the bit in the driver itself or just need something handy in the handle ready to go. On the other handle, the first tool we have is the serrated knife blade, a very nice sharp knife blade. 
And I think every good multi-tool should have a serrated knife blade, especially in the heavy duty category like this one, because sometimes you're just doing things to a tool you know you shouldn't. So that's what the serrated knife blade's for. All the inside tools lock in place via this plastic slider. We just pull back and the knife folds right in. The next tool on the inside of the handle is this pry bar slash cap lifter can opener thing. Um, and look how thick that is, super thick, definitely gonna get the job done. And I really appreciate on this Gerber multi-tool that they really put the engineering and effort in to make the tools very functional. It's not just a thin piece of metal that they cut some nicks and notches in and called a bunch of features. Each tool is very thoughtfully thought out and very functional. The next tool in this handle is the awl. And this awl is a little bit shorter than some of the other multi-tool offerings, but it's very sharp and comes down to a nice point. It's gonna work great for scraping off paint, punching through leather, and a lot of those other types of tasks. Um, again, it's a little bit thicker than uh, awls I've seen on other multi-tools. So, you know, Gerber isn't really concerned about saving space in this handle. They're really trying to give you the most functional tool possible. So I definitely appreciate that. And the final tool in this handle is the file. And it's an okay file. Um, it's got a fine side for like metals and a more coarse side for uh, woods. Uh, one downside is there's no um, serrations or hatches on either the spines of this file. So you're not gonna be able to do any slot cutting. But that being said, this file is gonna work pretty good for taking the edge off wood, plastics, or metal. So that's it for the inside tools. So a couple things to note here. This multi-tool does not have a saw, such as this Leatherman Surge does. So if a saw is important to you, this is not gonna be the tool for you. Also, this tool does not have a pair of scissors. So if scissors are important to you, this tool is probably not gonna be the right fit for you. But the tools that Gerber did include in here, they did very well. And I think they were really smart to put less tools into this multi-tool, but make them more functional and easier to deploy. Even though this multi-tool does not have a saw or a pair of scissors, Gerber did an excellent job in this multi-tool. The fit and finish are top notch and the tools you really need are easily accessible, like the one-handed deployable plier heads, knife blade, and bit driver. For just under $100, this is gonna be a pretty hard, heavy-duty multi-tool to beat. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Cheers.